Okay, as promised, second attempt at a video. The first one just took hours to upload to YouTube, so I abandoned it. So we'll try and make this one a bit quicker. Demonstration of the high speed serial transfer system. We have a Model B with a disk interface and twin disk drives. You don't need twin drives, it'll work with single drive just as well. We have my serial cable here plugged into the user port and comes around to the first D type, that's my cable, and then that's plugged into the second D type, which is the FTDI adapter, and that's plugged into the uh, USB port on the netbook, which is running a terminal called Hercules, which is the one I'm going to suggest that we use initially. Um, Right, so what we'll do, just dive straight in, just a demonstration <coughs> of how it works. I'm going to uh, send um, a disk image from the PC across to the Beeb. Uh, we'll make a DFS disk, we'll just check that it works. Then I'm going to send it back from the Beeb to the PC and we'll compare the two images and just check they're the same. Just show you basically how it works. So on the uh, Beeb, I've actually got the utilities loaded into sideways RAM already. You can run them off disk if you want, that's fine. But I've got them in, in ROM, so if we do a star um, help, you'll see down the bottom there's UPRS3.0R, and if we do a star help on that, you've got all the commands. So, what we're going to do is we'll do a star UP. SSD 0. Um, I've got a formatted floppy, in fact I'll just show you that for cheating purposes. Star dot in drive 0 we've just got a blank formatted floppy. So star up SSD 0 which means make an SSD on drive 0. Press enter. Insert disk. Um, that's just obviously telling you to put your, your blank or format the disk in, send the PC file and hit space. So over on Hercules it's just, uh, it's not doesn't focus very well on here, but I'm going to right click, select uh, send file, um, blah, blah, blah. send file, we'll pick an SSD, uh, thrust, it's not, not a very long one, it's what, 30k, so thrust the SSD, uh, open and then we hit space on the beep. That's as it's receiving. You can see the bar counting up on Hercules. Transfer ended, so we'll just hit shift break and you can see we've got thrust on that disc. Space bar, just check it runs. Okay, hit break. What we'll do now is we'll send the image back to the PC and just check byte for byte that it's uh, uh, still a good image. So on the bead this time, star UPX for export SSD 0, enter. Insert disk, it's already in, set PC to receive and press space. So over on Hercules this time, right click, um, log to file, just pick a, um, just wants to know a name of what I want to call the incoming image so we'll call it um, I'll just call it test dot SSD open and begin logging and you'll see at the top corner there is a little box opened log file zero bytes so on the B we'll press space that's telling us how many sectors, 6B sectors, it's going to send over as an image. The counting up over on Hercules, that's saying image complete. So we'll just uh, turn off log. And we've now got the original thrust and the test that's been to the beam and back again. So this is where this uh, hex editor comes in. I just like it because it's a convenient way of comparing files. So analysis, file compare compare and first file thrust and the second file test and okay 
and it says the chosen files are identical. So that's basically how the system works. I'm just done a small disk there because otherwise I'm going to run out of video time. Um, I think that'll do for now. So basically that's all you need. You be a couple of cables, PC and you're away. Now last thing, I did promise Hugh that we'd have a quick look around this particular cavern where my beep stuff's located. So we've got some stuff up there. That's me, prom programmer, an eraser, some test equipment, uh, and over here there is. Unlike Hugh's got books, I seem to have BBC computers. Just a quick look round the room, and that's it. Thank you for watching.